Good morning, this is Tim Miller, Middle Creek Roofing. I'm at the home of Jeremy Hall at 20 Overlook Lane in Newmanstown. Uh, it's December 29th. Uh, currently up here on the roof already. There's my point of entry. Um, I called out here today. He's got an issue with his ridge vent. Uh, he had some uh, snow and uh, water blow in up here at this corner. And, uh, therefore, he's been getting uh, water inside his attic and coming down and causing damage to his snow. come up here and put a cap over this end here and added some tape and, and some sealant trying to prevent any further water infiltration there but damage has already been done uh, just this old metal style vent uh, just doesn't provide a nice nice coverage uh, for what the, uh, the cutout in the roof was uh, was done there uh, and they ran the cutout all the way out to the edge they should have either stayed back two feet or kept the ridge vent back two feet could have prevented the water from getting in as well. Um, one of my suggestions would be to uh, change this ridge vent out to a much wider style. Put on the top. Uh, here on the front on the dormer here, you can see uh, they have some cap shingles across there as well. Uh, it's probably not quite the best match uh, for what the shingle application is. And the last shingle here, uh, these tabs actually should have ran up under this shingle. Water could come down here, basically get underneath that tab, and uh, if they have a nail underneath there, um, water could get in there as well. Um, looking at the end cap on the upper ridge vent, uh, you got two different levels here. Uh, you can see it looks like all they did there is probably looks like they sprayed foam in the end uh, rather than use the actual cap uh, that is made for these types of things. Um, foam is starting to deteriorate. And, uh, Disintegrate, and therefore that could have been the issue he had as well. Come down through here. We have the same thing on this end. On the end, you can stick your finger in there, you know, a considerable distance. And, uh, Side here, that's an actual tear, so it's just a matter of time so that tear gets much bigger than the water, it's just going to run down alongside that vent pipe into your wall and uh, inside your home. So, I'd suggest a replacement there, use the, the collar repair. All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, work up some options for uh, the homeowner and let them know what we can do for them. All right, thank you.